Hey, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. It is Friday for me. I don't know what day you're going to see this, but whatever day you're going to see this, we're getting pretty close to summer break, right? Uh, it's right around the corner. That means it's the month of June, okay? I have a presentation for us today, but let me turn my screen around so you guys could see my screen. And we could do the presentation, okay? So June is something called National Hunger Awareness Month, right? And National Hunger Awareness Month is a time of the year where we think about all of those people that go to bed hungry at night just because they don't have uh, enough food to be able to fill their tummies and to make their body healthy, okay? So right here, there's a heart made out of fruit and vegetables, right? Just to remind us that we got to love each other enough to make sure that everybody gets to go to bed with a tummy full of food so that way their body can do what it needs to do during the month okay or during the day i'm sorry so it's june is national hunger awareness month let's talk about what that means okay you guys what does it really mean to be hungry okay a lot of us know the feeling our tummy gets when uh we haven't eaten in a while, right? Where you kind of get a rumbling in your tummy and it starts to make noise like that. It growls, right? Our tummy growls. And what we usually do is we'll go get a snack or maybe ask our parents if they could make us something to eat, right? But there are people in the world and in the United States that have that feeling a lot or all the time because they don't have the, the ability to go get something out of the refrigerator and make their own snack or have somebody that can make them food because they just can't, they just don't have the food. They can't afford the food, right? We have to buy food. And if you're really lucky, your parents are able to afford all the food you want, right? But there are some people that can't afford all the food that they need to make their body do what it needs to do, okay? So sometimes they go to bed hungry and those people are the ones that we need to worry about and the ones that we need to talk about, right? So let's see, let's see, let's see. There's two things that hunger, right? Going to, having constant hunger could really do to our body to make us really sick. One of the things is called malnutrition. Okay, and that's a really big giant word, and I don't expect you to remember it, right? But what it is, is when your body doesn't get enough of the good vitamins and minerals and proteins it needs, right? Then you suffer from malnutrition. It means that you have bad nutrition, okay? You're eating poorly. And the best way for me to describe it is we all kind of pretty much love McDonald's fries, right? And if we ate McDonald's fries for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, we probably wouldn't be hungry, right? Because the McDonald's fries would fill us up, but we would get something called malnutrition because we're not getting enough vitamins and minerals from the fries uh, that our body needs, right? So we need stuff like meats and, and vegetables and fruits and dairy, right? And if we don't have enough of that regular stuff, we're going to get sick, right? If your body doesn't get any food or very, very little food, it has it does something called starvation, right? And starvation is terrible because your body starts burning its own meat and, and fat to be able to survive. And then eventually you don't have enough. So you get really, really, really skinny and people could see your bones underneath your skin, right? So that's how hunger can make us really sick. That's why we need to worry about people that 
are going to bed hungry constantly. Okay, we need to worry about how to help them. How bad is hunger in the United States in America, right? Around where we live, okay? If you were to think of eight of your friends, right? Eight of your friends, most likely one out of those eight families can't afford the food that they need to feed everybody in the family. That's very, very sad, right? 22 million children, millions is a lot, a lot, a lot, okay? 22 million children have to eat their school lunch as the only meal they get during the day. And that's really sad because a lot of people don't even like the school lunch. But imagine if that was your only meal during the day, then you would probably eat the whole thing, right? And when children don't know where their food is going to be or where their food is going to come from or when they're going to get their next meal, okay, they could get really bad. Um, they can get pretty sick, right? They could have different kinds of things where their body doesn't want to work right. They won't be able to breathe. It's hard for them to breathe. It's hard for them to run around and have the energy to be able to play like they want to play or for other people to work like they have to work, okay? So hunger is bad in America, and we got to make sure that we're trying to feed everybody that possibly can, can be fed, okay? Now, here in the United States, we're one of the richest, richest countries in the world, okay? And we can grow enough food to feed everybody in the United States, plus grow enough food to feed people in other countries. The problem is food costs money here in the United States, right? You can't just go get an apple for free, right? You, your mom or dad or somebody has to pay for the apples. So when they don't sell enough apples, then farmers have to destroy or uh, bury some of the apples that they, they grow, okay? Um, Hunger in the United States isn't because we don't have enough uh, meat or enough fruits or enough vegetables. It's because hunger happens because meats, fruits, and vegetables cost money, and not everybody can afford to get all the meats, fruits, and vegetables their body needs because sometimes jobs are hard to find, and sometimes good-paying jobs are hard to find, right? Right. So there are a lot of families that struggle to be able to buy the food that they need for their whole family, okay? And that shouldn't happen here in the United States because we're rich enough that everybody should be able to eat. Why do we waste so much food? I have a picture here of some tomatoes that are rotting and some uh, cucumbers that are rotting in the trash can. And the reason, one of the reasons why we waste a lot of food is because we don't like picking fruits and vegetables that look weird or that are a little too soft or not round enough or not shiny enough. Sometimes when we go pick like something like a tomato, if it's not red enough, we won't we won't take it, right? Or if it's not perfectly round, we won't buy it. If it's not uh, perfectly soft, we won't buy it, okay? Avocados are another thing. Avocados are another thing that they have to look perfect for us to be able to buy them or else we just leave them. And guess what? When we leave them, the market after a couple of days has to throw them away. And that's what ends up happening in, in, in a picture like this. People left the food in the market and the market couldn't sell it. So they have to throw it away and make room for new food that comes in. I'm sorry. And then a lot of times, right, we serve ourselves way too much food. You'd be able to bring me a couple of boxes, please. If we're at home and we want cereal, right, in the morning, if we see ourselves cereal, sometimes we serve more cereal than we can eat, right? And so a lot of the food has to go to waste. And that's all that food that goes to waste is food that we could be using to feed hungry people in America. Okay. 
Now you say, Mr. Gomez, I'm just a little kid. How am I going to solve this problem of hunger in, a, in America when the adults can't even solve it, right? And you're right. The adults could solve it if they chose to, but they're not choosing to, okay? So we need the help of young minds, young bodies that are willing to help, okay? And what can you do to help? Let's see. We could talk to our family and friends about not wasting so much food, okay? We could talk to our family and friends about buying <coughs> food even though it doesn't always look perfect if it's not the shiniest tomato or the shiniest apple, right? The reddest apple. We could still buy an apple that has a little bit of green in it. It doesn't mean that's not going to taste just as good or just as, as sweet, right? As a matter of fact, I don't know how many people have ever picked a watermelon, but a lot of people pick a watermelon based on how pretty it looks, right? How much green it has in it. Uh, and then they find out that's not the best way to pick a watermelon. The best way to pick a watermelon is sometimes you, you want to look for the ugliest watermelon, the one with the most yellow in it and the one with the most ugly veins because it has what they call a sunspot. It makes the watermelon sweeter, okay? So we have to talk to our family about shopping right. We have to talk to our family about not wasting as much food, okay? If you could start a garden at home and be able to grow your own food, that would be the best thing in the world, okay? Like Miss E started the garden here at Darnell for us. She teaches us how to make sure that we're growing food that we can eat and so that we're, we're not wasting it, right? And then all the food that we grow in the garden, you guys get to pick, take home, right? Here's a big one. If you guys want, you guys could bring some food from home that you guys might have extra. Talk to your parents about it. Ask them, mom, is there anything that we have extra that I could donate to some people that might be hungry, right? And so you could bring like a can of food or a box of food. Don't bring anything that would have to be in the refrigerator. But if you brought some food, right? Mr. Gomez will take it to a place called the City Heights Community Fridge, okay? And that's a little place right here, really, really close to us, okay? Where some people donate food. So that way people that live close to us can have food to, to go get it for free if they need it, right? So say you have an extra bag of rice at the house. You would bring it into your teacher. Mr. Gomez would pick it up from your teacher. And then I can go take it to this place called the City Heights Community Fridge. I'll put it on a shelf right there. And then if somebody that is hungry and doesn't have any food at home, they get to come there and they get to look for food that they could take home and feed their kids or feed themselves with, okay? So if you guys want, that would be something cool we could do. And I'll take it over there, okay? But remember, you guys, the reason why I'm telling you guys all this is because we got to take care of each other. We got to make sure everybody has the opportunity to feed their body what it needs, to be able to eat what they need, to keep themselves healthy, keep themselves happy, make sure they're doing what they want to do and then what they need to do, right? So we got to look out for each other. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, I hope things are going good. And if you do bring in some food, give it to your teacher and I'll pick it up and make sure it gets to the right people. Okay. Until I see you next time. Bye, you guys.